I think we need to get back to the point to where we can respect each other. By respect, I mean, look beyond race, look beyond gender, look beyond what you automatically see when you open our eyes, because we're all visual, right? Work on yourselves to be intelligent enough to have a conversation. It's okay to have differences, but at least have the conversation to figure out why you might have the difference. You, you use the adage in the mirror, take a look in your mirror, because none of us are perfect. We all have flaws and we all have faults. I just say taking a step back and starting off with, with respect of each other, being able to continue to work on that and, and a constant communication or constant dialogue with each other to make sure we're doing that. Secondly, create educational programs inside our elementary schools. Our mm -hmm. kids don't know anything about money management. There's no reason why financial literacy shouldn't be taught to these young men and women inside of school. You bring entrepreneurs in and show them what it's going to take for them to and open up a business. That changes their mindset and that wants them to learn more. For them to learn more, they may continue to offer more programs at a technical school level. I was fortunate enough to go to a major university, but not everybody's cut out for that. We need plumbers. We need carpenters, the service-oriented people because if you look at the grand scheme of things, when we had COVID and everybody else was shut down, gas station attendants were still open, buy auto body shops were still open, electricians still went to work. So help these help these individuals in the communities with more resources and more pro to help them not only with entrepreneurship, with education, with money management, but also go back to each one of them has to be tied to tailored and tagged around respect. That's how we change the dynamics to to get us back or put us to a point to where we need to be.